All right, I've got a bit of a weird idea today, and honestly, I'm just jumping right into the deep end of this one because I've never actually tried this map before, but there is a rings map that was released before my neon rings map that was released. It's called Future Rings by Josh B. I'm pretty sure Cross Patat also helps with that. He's in a lot of crazy mods lately. Uh, so let's jump into free play here. We'll go into, I believe I loaded into Utopia here. What I'm going to be doing is not the regular run of this map, so it's going to be even more difficult. <laughs> I'm going to have to... Uh, Get used to inverted gravity in a rings map. So it's not only traversing a, a normal course, which by the way, looks insane. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what's happening. There's a, there's a ball, there's a small ring course, beginner course, uh, impossible mode. If I go over here, I guess I explore the city. I think if I just go in here, uh, it should just go normally. So I'm gonna do that. I need to go into Bakke's mod really quick, which is a computer mod uh, only for PC. And I need to basically change the gravity. Yes. So yeah, there we go. Oh, uh, that's good. So we're just going to start it off. Oh my gosh. Are you lost yet? Oh, there's a start. There's a start. All right. Yep. Here we go. We're going to be doing the map upside down. And it looks insane. It looks like the, the, the ceiling is water. <laughs> And the floor is just like an empty space here. That's so cool. Yeah, so we are uh, we are at one death because of the beginning. Uh, the reset. That's okay, though. Uh, wow. This looks actually insane. I really highly suggest trying this out if you haven't. Uh, if you've played this map before and you want to get a different feeling for it. Because uh, it definitely feels really unique. Oh. Recognizer? There's nothing recognized about this right now. Like, look at the floor. It's space. It's actually so cool. This map is also really, really well done. There's so many details. There's the Tron uh, piece. I believe, uh, I think it was a cross Patah who made the Tron map in the first place. So uh, maybe that's why he has a little Easter egg in here. Oh my gosh. This is so weird. I'm actually surprised at how the camera fixed. Um, I think they actually might have changed how that works. This looks insane. I love the, the water ceiling. It actually gives me an idea for another map in the future. Uh, no, no, no spoilers for that one. Uh, also, I do have a map that I'm trying to complete for Team C's. Have you ever heard of that before? It's uh, Mr. Beast and Mark Rober. Um, you know, I did I did a Team Trees map when Team Trees was around. I'm, I'm hoping to do another map for Team C's and help out where I can and donate as much as I can personally. But anyway, uh, yeah, this is insane. It's, so far, the map actually doesn't feel too bad. Although, I don't have any reference because I don't know how easy it is the other way or hard. I guess instead of climbing here, you'd be falling. So it's probably actually easier this way, which is actually kind of nice. Get to just stroll through. But yeah, there's a lot of vibrant colors in this one. What is this? Oh! Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's like a solemn. Yeah, this is uh, really trippy. I feel like if you were... Um, yeah, let's just say if you were on something, this would be incredible. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. I've told my story about something like that on Twitch before looking good though so we haven't actually died on the the course we died at the beginning when we were trying to figure out the gravity when, when we first swapped over it was insane looking I don't even know what I how to explain it it felt so strange I think we just go through here that's a lot of pink rings what is going on over there the tunnel of rings okay yeah, I don't know. I just love the, the ceiling of the water. It's so cool. I feel like I'm on some distant planet or something. Also, the, the, the designs are so cool. Like with these cubes that have the motion, the movement, uh, moving textures and stuff. Whoa, 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 Okay. Oh, oh. This is so trippy. I know I keep saying that, but it really is. I don't know. Something about it. And gravity feels like really strange because you, you expect to go up because you're used to water being on the floor. You know what I'm saying? And it's very hard to find how fast I should go. Okay, here's the tunnel of rings. We finally made it to this thing. I got to turn though. There's no landing on anything because everything's upside down. So there's nothing. Oh, is there no failing? Can I sneak through these rings again? <gasps> Please let me in. Let me in. Oh, what the heck, man? 
Oh, this is so weird. I've never thought to put like a tunnel of rings like this, but it's very trippy. I guess he didn't put triggers on these, like death triggers, which is lucky for me. I survived. Uh, it looks like we go left. Yes. Oh, there's, there's arrows. We go this way. Oh. So there's like barely any rings in this level, but it tells you to turn. Okay, there's one right here. We turn again. Dude, like look at the background. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'd love to put more details into my own rings maps. But like, I mean, my, my rings maps are okay, but there's nothing like this. Like space walks out there. Like, oh my gosh. They even have like an explore option. Obviously, my ice rings had an Easter egg. If you never found it, it's pretty incredible. I think that the Easter egg track is actually longer than the original track. Um, and I do like some exploration in maps. I don't have any like real Easter eggs in other maps. I need to do more of that because it's, uh, it's a lot of fun to, for people to find them. Uh, I actually do have one with... I, I, I don't know if you saw my Aztec, like, Mayan Pits map. But I had John Salmon's face in the sky, which is pretty funny. And then an alien pointing at him. Uh, yeah. You know, sometimes... I just have these little inspirations. This is very satisfying. I hope it's satisfying to watch too. It's very confusing though. <laughs> looking good. Looking good. What? Oh, don't reset. Reset. What is happening? Where am I going? Okay. That might have been the most confusing thing. I think I was on ball cam, so I was looking at some random object. Oh, my. when you reset though, the the game does not know where your camera's supposed to be. So unfortunately, we did reset there. I don't even know if we're going the same way anymore. I'm actually kind of lost. Yeah, we're we're good. We're good. All right, just go through here, no problem. Try to do more air rolls. I'm just trying to focus on not losing my mind because these rings are crazy. There's so many. I guess he does have some triggers, some resets. Otherwise, why would he have deaths? Looking good. I didn't put timer on. I should have, I guess, put the timer. I thought the timer would be default. I think the problem is it's deceptively slow. And I'm not expecting it, but we're, we're doing okay. You know, one death on the track. And then one reset on the beginning and one reset on the, the death. So not too bad. I keep going way too fast. It's so many tight turns. As you can see. All right. And I mean, I guess we're hitting checkpoints, which is good. I thought maybe we have to drive on them or something. Looking good. Looking good. Oh my gosh. This is long. How many levels are there? Over under. There's not like a level counter. I don't know if there's 20 levels. Because I did... um. I think both of my rings maps have 20 levels. My dribble map has 30, which was more because I had a lot of money on that one for the challenge. It was a long time ago now. It was like over two years. Oh, not over two years, but I think it was two years ago. Um, maybe not. I always think it is. I think I even said it the last time I recorded on it. And honestly, I should go back and try that map again because it's actually really, really good for dribble challenge, uh, like dribble practice. It's so weird because all this would probably be falling instead of climbing, but we're climbing up into the, the water again. Which, once again, looks super sick. I guess there's no fog on this map because it's uh, space, so... Look at this. Super cool. It's yeah, definitely worth a try. If you haven't given this one a try, definitely give it a try. Like I said, I'll put it in the link in the description. Um, did we go around again? Like, are we on the same levels? Circuit Freeway. No, this is new. Look at that one over there. That, that's that's so cool. That tower in the background. Looks like Pac-Man over there <laughs> going backwards. <laughs> it's just an arrow, but it looks insane. So cool. Well, it's a really well done map. Like I really enjoy this one. Very satisfying for the eye because there's so many colors flashing around and stuff. Some satellite dishes down there too. Or I guess it would be up there normally. <laughs> oh my. So satisfying. Whoa, 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 what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Oh, up first. What in the heck? Everything's the opposite of what it's supposed to be, and it's so weird because you're supposed to usually fall down here. But now we're climbing. I 
feel like this will be much easier the other way. Not having to climb each time, but we're doing it. This is a uh, this is the same thing over and over again. We're slowly reaching the water again. All right. Good. Oh, I lost my bearings. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is, there, is there still more levels? The infinity cube. I guess we're going to fly by one of those cube things. Yeah, I named all my, all my levels in my first ice rings map. And then on my neon rings, I just gave up on that because the naming was just kind of weird. And all the levels were like pretty similar in the neon rings. But I, I like uh, I like giving each level some sort of character, some sort of uniqueness to it. So every level feels unique in a way and different as you go through it. We're going through the tower here. Pretty cool. I like I like this. We're going to the right. I saw some rings down to the right here. I'm actually really surprised at how well the uh, inverted gravity works because uh, it used to not be like this. It used to, the camera used to be really strange. But I think it's like they either fixed that in Bacchus mod or it's, I don't know, something changed with Rocket League. Oof. More satellite dishes. Oh, quick, quick little group of rings here and then there's more at the bottom or top, however you want to say it. It's, uh, oh, it goes so fast. We must be near the, nearing the end, right? Like we've been through a lot of the level. So many colors. I'm just going to vibe for a little bit here. What happened to my audio? Something's really, something weird is really happening. Why, why do I sound like I'm underwater? Oh, I'm back. I'm not going crazy, right? That definitely sounded different. It's so good to practice your aerials this way. If you're not on PC, I really, really do apologize for the inability to use these custom apps because they're so good. Like, I actually find that my, my my best practice comes from playing weird, unique custom maps and like getting used to really unique bounces. Because then when I play standard Rocket League, it feels like it's a breeze. It's like, oh yeah, flat wall. Oh, chump, chump game here. I, I, I'm used to like corners and curves and reading like weird bounces, getting used to the geometry of the ball and stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we're good. is wild. I'm getting lost in the sauce right now. I don't want to die too because this level's long. These levels are super long. I actually can't believe how long this is. Surely I'm on the last few levels. No one warned me when I said I was going to do this how long it was. Yeah, this is a visual spectacle, honestly. That's that's like the biggest thing about this map, is just a visual spectacle. You really do just enjoy the colors in the background. I'm I am having a lot of fun. Almost done. Oh god. Wow. I like I have I've said this enough probably, but I'm really enjoying this. I would definitely do this again. Uh, I definitely want to try this map the normal way too, because I feel like it would be a very different vibe. <laughs> We're still going though. There's still more levels. You see a little bit of a twist here. Oh, there's the, there's the audio again.
Looking good, looking good. Is this the last level? It's looking like it might be. It's super long. Look at it go around the, the corner. I do not want to die. No, as I was saying, I don't want to die. Oh, no. I was going way too fast. This level's so long, though. We'll just get back to where we were at. I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm so sad. Oh, my brain can't handle it. Please. Whoa! Okay, we're back. Oh my god. I'm up to eight deaths now. Because of all those resets. Alright, I think we're basically where we were at. Finally. Yeah, we. this is new, I believe. It's still going. That looks like it might be the end with that big ring in the middle. Maybe? What are those big twisty rings? Are those part of the level? Might be. No, it looks like it might, be, it might just be a design. We've got another level. Sea of simulation. I don't think those are rings that we actually play with. We we just fly by them. Oh my gosh, it's one of those uh, <laughs> one of those ships. It's pretty cool. Is there 30 levels in this thing? I think I'm actually tripping out. Like I'm I'm tunnel visioning so hard right now. It's like it's actually messing with my brain. I feel so weird right now. Very nice. All right. There's another level. No way. Are you serious? I thought we were done. I've said that like eight times though. I, I I swear we're like on like level 40. The descent. That must be the last level. We've been climbing, I guess, or reverse climbing. We've been falling. Yeah, this looks like one of the highest levels. It must be the drop to the end. Please. Oh, okay. Looking good, looking good. The descent, it's more like a climb for me right now. We gotta go up. Camera, please behave. Oh. No. <gasps> And I gotta reset again because it doesn't work. <sighs> what the heck, man? All oh, this level so long. I'm actually like, my hand is starting to hurt. I've been holding boost or tapping it for like, I don't even know how long. It's been like 20 something minutes. All right, we're back to the climb. <laughs> the, the opposite of the level's name. But uh, I, I definitely think this is a little bit long for a rings map. I think that, you know, if you're looking to practice, I guess it is a good session. But uh, it's a little bit long for my own taste. I definitely felt like my ice rings was a bit too long and my neon heights rings map is definitely a, a lot better pacing for a quick like training session. Uh, but oh my, there's it's just more levels, more levels. It's just so long. Outlands, okay, this looks like that might be the end. We're going like through a straight path here. Cool ending though, I really like this. As long as it is the ending, please. Super cool buildings out here. You know, they're, they're falling into the sky. <laughs> oh, I see the yellow ring. Let's go, please. We gotta go all the way through all these buildings and then call it a day. This is such a long level, man. 
Oh my, I don't want to die again. I don't know how many legitimate deaths I've had, honestly. I, I forget how many times I had to really quickly reset because the camera was being all weird, but... Pretty, pretty amazing map. I'm really happy with it. How it looks. Like I said, it's a little bit long for me, for my taste. Uh, for like one sit down, because my finger is actually starting to cramp up a little bit. But it's super fun, and every level feels really unique, especially with this upside down effect that we've got going on here, right here. Uh, right here, right here. Nice. Uh, right here, right now. Um, it's super, super cool. I definitely want to give this a try off, off stream and off recording uh, without being upside down, because I think it's like definitely going to feel a lot different through the track. There's a lot of places where falling would have been easier and climbing would have been easier, or vice versa. So it's a different, ch different challenge overall, but... Hey, oh, there's the levels right there. Was that the level the whole time in the corner? Am I that dumb? Am I really that dumb? <laughs> oh, no, I was. I thought that was the time for some reason. I, I realized the time wasn't there. I already said that. Uh, let's put this back to default. And... All right, I don't even know how many deaths that was, like, legitimately, but it was a lot of fun, and it was pretty long. Like, that was a 20-something minute recording of, uh, of Rings. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely give this a try on the workshop if you want to give it a go yourself. Um, definitely an interesting one. Uh, huge thanks to Josh B and Across the Top for this amazing map. Uh, give them, show them some support. And, uh, until next time, have a great day, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.